I use my photography as a tool to change, and I feel that something will change. That's my faith in my work as a photographer. India tops in everywhere, number one. My respect for you has gone up to X. Uh, Shri Sudhara Kolwe is a Mumbai-based documentary photographer whose work has been featured in national publications and exhibited in Mumbai, Delhi, Lisbon, Amsterdam, Los Angeles, Washington, and Dhaka. He has traveled the length and breadth of this nation and has seen firsthand some incredible stories of resilience, courage, and change. He has worked in tandem with many NGOs presenting their extraordinary work with both rural and urban communities. Sri Olve was conferred with the Padma Shri Award in 2016 and has documented heart-rendering stories of issues from around India. He believes in capturing powerful narratives through his photographs. This is what he aims to bring to the table today via this workshop by sharing his stories behind his photographs taken at this year's Pandar Purwari, as also other photographs that he's taken, illustrating the importance of aesthetics in narrating a story. In addition, he emphasizes the technical aspects of taking a stellar photograph by teaching people how to think across outside the box. May I please invite Shri Sudhakar Olve to the stage to walk us through the next 20 minutes of uh, of his experiences of the Wari and his stories behind his own photographs. Thank you so much. Go to Wari. I mean, I've been in Maharashtra and I've never gone to Wari because, you know, there's so much baggage is there. You know, it's a 600, 800 years, eight years, 800 years old Wari and tradition. In for my villages, many people walk. And when he invited me, so I started thinking, you know, what? Because I knew the young photographers are brilliant. The technology is brilliant. And I'm on a smear photographer there. My energy, I knew, you know, getting at four o'clock, three thirty, started, and end the whole day walking in a. It was too much. It was unbelievable that how eighty years, sixty years, and people who are sick also travel to meet Vithala. You know, so there are two cents. I'll just briefly. I think Sir will take more. But what I'm going to connect is my work, which I keep doing. So when I started reading about Vari, oh, so. I know about Naneshwar, it was, we know from the, from our child. It is Tukaram. When Tukaram's name came, you know, I started reading more and I said, you know, I'll focus on Tukaram. The rebellious poet, you know, the rebellious poet who was against injustice, you know, against inequality. And he wrote so much poetry in his lifetime, you know. His poetry was thrown away in the river by the upper class at that time. You know, people don't understand, just kind of little. Telling why I love Tukaram and I started. His faith in, in Vithala was so high. You know, he asked him, you know, I have been taken by upper class to the court. I have taken my property. Can't you see that I am on a road still? Still, he, his, his faith was so much in Vithala that he never, he questioned him, but he never left. He's always uh, praising Vithala, you know, uh, all the life. But so many things happen and, and Rebellious poetry, uh, and then I said, "Okay, so, so, so these are the first picture which I'm showing is the Palki of Karam, and so, so in a, this Palki is more quieter, but the Danish, Danish's Palki is more, you know, too much of energy, too many people, and then I differentiate it. Then I, then I said, you know, uh, so this is the second picture, and I, and 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 I was thinking how to do. It. So I don't want to show the faces, you know, but by the way." So I didn't kind of I didn't have people. We are all together. We have been divided by so much of you know the present. You know words are and Tukaram's words are we are more relevant at this point at this juncture of where we are standing. And so so that was my idea not to show the faces. So but you know I I have continued the journey. But the thing is that this I'm showing just two images. There are many images I've photographed. But what I'm connecting is now that. The, the the Tukaram's work is still, you know, and when when Mr. Damani has done this, you know, this is very appropriate exhibition in this time when the words are losing their faith itself. You know, words have been 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 captured and been, been turned into something else. 
so 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 i'll just read one small poetry of him and then i'll start my actual presentation of my work so this was very recent i have started reading to karam uh, this is this goes way words are the jewels that our homes are filled with the tools that we strive with are but words words are the source that sustains our life wealth of words we give to one and all so that time the education was only with specific community the rest of the community was not given a chance to even study you know that's or there was so much of in my inequality and caste was around the maharashtra and maharashtra is very progressive state we have ambedkar we have mahatma phule we have so many saints like naneshwar and tukaram so so but that inequality and that injustice is still continue at this age also if you see the last one last month there were two uh, rapes happen in india up those two sisters were raped usually killed and they were hanged on a tree and then another rape and there's nothing actually we 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 don't see that injustice is happening and we don't speak this is what i'll start uh, there's a small story as you all said i'm a storyteller everybody has to tell a story so i tell a story in a very different way i use my photography as a tool to change and i feel that something will change that's my faith in my work as a photographer I did this story called "In Search of Indignity and Justice." I'm a photographer from last uh, 30 years. I worked with many newspapers in Mumbai, and uh, so while working uh, for a, one of the uh, newspapers, I started working. There, there, there are forty thousand sweepers are in Mumbai. They clean around eleven thousand tons of garbage every day, but people don't know. That. And that's what I started. There's one community. is there which does this work so it's very related to what to karam has started is still continue and still not built. so this they, they are 40000 they are men and they are mostly dalit 99 percent it's there's there's a reservation for them 100 percent reservation the job goes from father to wife to wife to the son it's a vicious circle and around and and men and women work together they start around 5:30 5:45 and people don't know who cleans this garbage we all create it but we are not kind of a part where the tension or or segregation come our civic sense is great we get down from the bus we throw bus ticket we sit in the train we throw everything so so there's so much garbage when he goes to the violence of mumbai violence of mumbai you know that's gully we call gully and uh, people knows that you know he's cleaning there they still throw hot boiling water vegetables acid you know one day when i was shooting Salary napkin landed on his head. So the co-worker used that broom and cleaned it. Because this, these are he doesn't have any voice to to say about himself. Like because he's the lowest caste, thus there's so much division, and he he fears for his PMs his worker also. He get good pay, but what happened in the process? He has to drink. If if he doesn't drink, he will not able to work. So what happened? As soon as he start drinking, his body gets sick. and he died very young around 45 to 48 uh, so in spite of doing this job this it was in human work but there's hardly any words or any respect or any dignity for this work you know you go i've been then i went to their houses and wanted to find like what is there that uh, uh, you know so there's so much of darkness because the, this job carries so much of negativity and then health so and they mostly they drink and then they, even children wait uh, for the father to die so there will be some relief for the family then the dumping uh, the sewage lines is as big as double decker bus there's nothing but you know gases and there are so many poisonous gases if you go uh, see the newspapers uh, you know every week or every there's some accident in happening in drainage I mean, most of the the cleaners dies in drainage pipelines and and you know sometimes this is unconscious his boy, body may get to swirly sea face or he may not get the body you know so in spite like you know doing such a great work for for uh, um, us for keeping our health uh, but you know he's not get that respect but somebody goes to um, kargil war you know he gets gallantry award but this man who's doing every day 24 by 7 so nobody wants to do this job as in fact 40000 people are doing and there's a, so much insensitivity about the one individual to another human being So this is the first story which I wanted 
you know kind of share with you uh, and then this this is the last picture i kept to urge the citizen of this country citizen of the city then what you will do once you see this whether you'll keep continuing the garbage or or you'll respect the you know the questions are so many so so uh, and this is the like i've started doing all over the country also the major problem is going to be that this this the whatever garbage we are creating it is going to the water so the next is going to be our water is going to be very very polluted uh the second story you know i keep traveling around the country and um, and these are very close stories i i know that india tops a in everywhere number 1 we have gone to the mars we going to the moon very near to the moon but the change is not happening you know the change is only somewhere else so so this is the story of women of the country and it's called I, first i said women violence on women the first title then i realized they are all survivors they are fighters you know most of the rural india what happens the this case is in the registered for there's no registration they can't walk to the police station they can't go to the court because there's so much hassle there so every minute there is a rape there is a acid victim there is something happening in this country so these are the stories from around the country so i've traveled and uh, so uh, so you know I, i was doing a series on uh, save the girl child so i travel out seven eight state and unbelievable the way people wants the boy you know every family in india wants the boy first so then i said what what happened to these girls so they throw in well they throw in the river the the foetus and the one month of one one week of uh, girl child nobody wants to girl child and so i started finding those places so i can travel like this is one of the place i found where the girl child was buried you know there are seven nine daughters and they still want the son to be there there's pictures they they pray only for the son so sunita was uh, from delhi she wanted to become a dancer and she wanted to be in tv serial but one of the very domestic there was i'm talking about domestic violence is also very high which doesn't come few states is impossible to get into the houses and understand what's happening with the women very difficult to know their stories so uh, so sunita was uh, some from relatives wanted to marry her she kept denying it said i don't want to marry you i want to make my career uh, in television industry so one fine day he came at 6:45 in delhi he threw acid on her so it's a to kill that woman to to moralize that you know how you can say no and that's the goal to give that when the these figure things that is most i think it goes uh, very deep rooted uh, uh, shalu was also from uh, udaipur um, i was traveling and i saw some women sitting in front of the collector's office so i went and met her and then couple of visit you know then she told her she was walking and somebody says something to her so she went and slapped that person so this person comes after one week and throw acid on So Maya, Maya was there was a small fight between husband and wife. Maya's husband took a kerosene and put a kerosene on her. Maya is seventy eight, eighty percent burned. Uh, again, the police officer's wife. She was so badly beaten up. Uh, Anisha is her name, and uh, just came to rest for a while. You know, because there's no power, there's no money, there's so many things involved. To you know, unless and until education, power, money, it's all important when the woman life is important. So she was beaten up badly. Uh, This is this is classic again. You know, they identified one single woman from the villages called witch hunting. It's you know, which is there in Harkhand, uh, Odisha, and other places where they find a woman with small property house, and if she is single, they identify her and 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 they kind of make a plot against her and kill her with the stone. You no, know, and then they hang to the tree. It's very horrible. And very, you know, it's unbelievable. The stories are there. Rafat was uh, raped by an uh, upper class neighbor for just teaching because there was a small fight between a neighbor and uh, she was. Uh, this is again very high form of. Uh, so she was. Uh, her daughter was married to the next village, and uh, they were asking for many doubt, doubt. You know, so they said, "We are given so much money now, we don't have." So finally, she went and brought the daughter back. And so teach the lessons. The father and father, the son and father. Uh, father comes, and the police complaint has happened. They got arrested, but they were, they they were released without anything. So next day, the son-in-law comes with the deshi pistol, and he fired seventy-two bullets on her to teach a lesson. So these are the stories. This kind of work I do uh, keep doing it. I think that's last. So uh, you know this. So I have many other stories like this. I keep showing it to the 
colleges, schools, and I present my work. I, I thought, I know, I'll just connect with Tukaram's poetry and show this work. So, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm. Yeah. I think he deserves a louder round of applause. Yeah. That was. I knew about your work, but let me tell you in all humbleness, my respect for you has gone up to next. Thank you.